The Gordie Howe International Bridge requires the installation of 216 stay cables. The installation process for each pair can take two to five days and involves multiple steps. White weather resistant, high density, polyethylene, HDP, plastic pipes are lifted from their crates on the ground up to the road deck and are welded together before any strand can be fed through. Once welded, the first strand, referred to as the reference strand, is inserted into the pipe. With the strand in place, the end of the pipe is lifted into position on the tower by a crane with support from workers on the mast climber, which is steel scaffolding attached to the tower. Workers stationed on the mast climber take the strand and feed it into the anchor box inside the tower. Another crew of workers stationed inside the anchor box takes the reference strand, anchors it, and secures it with a steel wedge. Workers on the deck bring the other end of the pipe to its location on the edge girder and secure the strand. With a cable stayed bridge design, cables serve two purposes. They deliver the weight of the entire structure to the tower and maintain the bridge deck stability and placement. Together, the towers and stay cables of the Gordie Howe International Bridge will be capable of supporting millions of pounds of weight. Once complete, the Gordie Howe International Bridge will be the longest cable stayed bridge in North America and the 10th longest in the world. It will also be the longest composite deck cable stayed bridge in the world. In total, the bridge will feature 216 stay cables, 108 on each side. If laid end to end, the metal strands would measure approximately 3,107 miles in length. That is the same distance as a round trip from Windsor, Ontario, to Salt Lake City, Utah. On June 10, 2024, crews installed the temporary bracing pieces that connect the Canadian and U.S. sides of the Gordie Howe International Bridge over the Detroit River. The bridge officially became an international crossing that requires temporary port of entry facilities for border agencies. These have been established at the base of the bridge deck on both sides of the Detroit River. Iron workers installed the permanent steel to connect the bridge deck before sunrise that morning to beat the heat of the day. Crews used temporary jacks to move the Canadian bridge deck approximately six inches to allow for enough clearance for the mid-span closure. The opening date for the bridge was initially set for November 2024. But Bridging North America and the Windsor-Detroit Bridge Authority, which oversees the project for the Government of Canada, announced in January the opening had been pushed back by 10 months. Construction is now expected to wrap up in September 2025. The Gordie Howe International Bridge is being developed by the Windsor-Detroit Bridge Authority, WDBA, a not-for-profit crown corporation created in 2012 that reports to the Canadian Parliament through the Minister of Infrastructure and Communities. WDBA is wholly owned by the Government of Canada, but is structured like a private company and operates independently from the government. WDBA is responsible for the delivery of the bridge, as well as construction oversight and the operation of the new crossing. WDBA will set toll rates on the bridge and collect all tolls. The bridge is being implemented through a 36-year design-build finance operate-maintain availability payment concession. WDBA's payments to the private sector concessionaire Bridging North America, are performance-based and can be withheld by WDBA if the agreed-to-performance standards are not met. It is anticipated that of the $4.4 billion contract, $2.9 billion will be allocated for the design-build phase, including financing, and the remaining $1.5 billion for the operations maintenance rehabilitation phase, including financing.